going on doing a little bit more work here on the wheel horse 520h restoration this will be probably part five you can see i got some i don't know if you can see that but i got some pitting and bubble rust i'm gonna have to grind that off and uh, get new rubber mats and do that right now i'm just taking off this foot rest so i get a look at the uh the um the hose uh, what do you call that thing you know the cylinder hydraulic cylinder but i'm wondering you guys do you is this normal this is my first tractor with hydraulics i i would think that they're not supposed to be loose like like that and i mean i can i can i can wiggle that pretty good and i have a feeling that that might have been a source of my leak uh i already power washed this once but i'm gonna power wash it again and uh I'm going to inspect some of these other connections. Get all this rusted nutty bolts off. Let's see what we have here. What else we got here? That's one of and sometimes you have to resort to sometimes you have to resort to doing uh, a little bit of drilling and you come back and the PB blaster hasn't worked yet and everything is completely and you can't find a big enough screwdriver to get enough leverage uh, it's just easier sometimes just drill it out Now, this isn't too bad. This is a pleasant uh, surprise. So, let's see, that looks good. That goes into the filter, so that's not leaking. New brake band, that's easy enough. That's probably why I didn't have any brakes. Oh boy. And, uh, this part of the cylinder doesn't look great, but. I guess, uh, I guess I answered my question. This shouldn't be le loose like that. Maybe I can pick up a new cylinder too and do a official restoration. But uh, that's what it looks like. And uh, let's carve into this now. Well, I'm getting a little bit closer here. Have uh, just removed the the gas tank over there, so I can get a better look at things inside here. There's the new filter that they put on, and uh, getting close. Now I'm going to take off. I got to do some more drilling. These these bolts are all rusted screws. I got PB blaster on there, but I think I have to drill them all out. Plus they're all rusted anyway, so I'd like to replace those. So I'm going to be taking this piece off here pretty soon, and and we'll uh, see what's all in there, and then get the power washer on the whole thing. One of the things I like to do when I'm doing a restoration, you take these pieces off, put those bolts back on.
Here's another little tip. On these older tractors, a lot of these parts you can't get anymore. What I like to do is take a small Ziploc sandwich bag, any sandwich bag will work if it's not a Ziploc, and some black electrical tape. You can choose whatever color electrical tape as well, because that really doesn't matter either. What I do is I just wrap these up, because when I get ready for power wash, I don't want any water getting in there, because most of these things are already corroded, and uh, a little bit more water is probably going to send it over the edge, so I like to wrap up a lot of these sensitive parts. The other thing is a lot of the plastic components um, are incredibly brittle, and while the corrosion might not be a problem, the plastic may be. So I like to try to keep these things as, um, as original as I can because a lot of them you can't get anymore.